um, we, we the main event was uh, uh, a six person a trios match. He's called six man matches. Will Osprey and Kyle Fletcher, Konosuke uh, Takeshita versus uh, Kojusko Okada and the Bucks. Uh, basically, uh, showcases for Takeshita versus Okada and the Bucks versus Osprey and Fletcher. I gotta say, I gotta say, I'm disappointed that we have Osprey and Fletcher as a makeshift tag team getting a tag team title shot. Um, they're both I mean, fine, uh, great wrestlers, obviously, but Osprey should be in the singles picture and, and, and that exclusively. I know Fletcher's floating around waiting for his his Aussie Open tag team partner to get back. Um, Though perhaps, you know, he's had so much time as of singles uh, the last six plus months that I don't know if he'll need to go back to tag uh, wrestling when that's all over. Right. The Bucks the Bucks haven't defended the belts very much in the six months they've had the belts. And, you know, here we go again. I, I don't I, when when they rest, when when those two tag teams get together, I don't want to see the Bucks lose to a makeshift tag team because then you got two belts on Osprey, um, which makes no sense. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, why are we doing this? I don't know. I, now I'm looking forward to Takeshita uh, versus Okada. That, yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's going to be a great match. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts? So last week we spoke uh, privately about how neither of us were a fan of a makeshift tag team getting another shot at the tag team championships. Uh, at All Out, it was Claudio and Wheeler Yuta, who they, yeah they've tagged together, but they're not a tag team. And, and AEW has a lot of tag teams, a lot of great tag teams. Um, now, I thought about this more, and uh, I don't know if you heard, Wednesday, Kota Ibushi posted that he and Omega are training again, and they, they expect to make a return soon. Um, I think, and, and this has kind of been the feud since they won the titles, or since they broke away from, from Omega, was the Golden Lovers versus the Young Bucks. And I think that's the end game here. I think the Bucks will ultimately drop that title to them. Um, so maybe it's good that a makeshift tag team is losing to the Bucks because it doesn't bury another actual tag team. Um, which, you know, I, I don't think FTR or the acclaimed exited that feud at all in looking better than they entered it. Um, and they already didn't look good, either of them, because I think a lot of people are just so fatigued with those three teams. But maybe it's good that that – Fletcher and Osprey will take that loss and, and, you know, but I'm, I'm tired of the young bucks being champions. I, I understand the young bucks and the gold lovers is a, you know, to them, it seems like a big feud, but I would have preferred someone else leave all in with the titles. Uh, but you know, um, it is what it is. This was a, a, in terms of the match, the main event, it was good, but I don't think it didn't exceed my expectations. All six of these guys are great wrestlers. You know, you sort of expect that that benchmark of excellence from them. So, I do remember a Golden Lovers Young Bucks match from New Japan that was that aired on one of their U.S. shows way up mm, five six years ago, yeah. um, back when they were still on um, um, Access TV. Yeah. Uh, and and it went. I mean, it was one of the better tag team matches I've seen, but it was five or six years ago. Um, when it was, I had to be more, at least maybe six years ago. Now you think about it, because AEW has been around for five years. Great match, uh, but the, everybody was healthy then. They were all, you know, they were five years, five or six years uh, less of bumps then. Yeah. Um, and you know, it was good to see that you, you mentioned the the photo on, online posted by Abushi of him training with Omega. I don't know who I was more excited to see. I mean, you know, Omega looked pretty good uh, for a guy who's been in a hospital bed a lot the last several months. Um, he looked like he was in in, in pretty good shape. But Bushi still had a shirt on in the picture, which made me fear that, yeah, maybe he's not in as good a shape as he needs to be. When he came to AEW, he did not look the same as he looked in his heyday, which wasn't that long ago in New Japan. So, but yeah, if they're if they're anywhere near, uh, you know, their condition, their peak condition. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and I don't know how quickly that could be because I'm with you. We need to get those belts off of the Bucks. We need to put them on somebody who will defend them and be a presence every week. Yeah. 